Yo, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm going to be posting something a little bit different. Nothing really Call of Duty related, however, I am going to have some Call of Duty gameplay in the background of this video. And myself and my good friend New Kinda Lazy, who's been on my channel a couple times already, are going to be talking about the new Star Wars movie, The Rise of Skywalker. Both of us are really huge Star Wars fans, we love the lore, and we do have a lot to say about the movie. Both of us have very conflicting opinions, so I thought it would make for a good little discussion video. Hopefully you guys do enjoy and uh, yeah i'll see you guys next time peace so lazy i'm gonna ask you out of 10 what would you rate the new star wars movie okay can i give two separate ratings sure but i'll explain it okay as an overall movie um seven that's fair for an overall movie yeah but for what i my expectations an eight Honestly, I was oh expecting a lot God. worse. Are no, no expectations. Expectations. I was expecting a lot worse. Uh, dude. Okay, so I gave the movie a three out of ten. A, th a three? Yes, because if you are a true Star Wars fan and analyze this from the previous Star Wars movies, then you would fucking agree that like. Disney literally just said, okay, fuck everything that we've been building upon for the past, like, couple of years now. Because we're just going to change all this shit up. So, like, they fucking never explained how Palpatine survived either. They never said how he did at all. And that really bothered me. Like, how is he hooked up to all these machines? Like, what the hell do they do? Like, So, so uh, from what I understand... Those like uh, mini Sith minions he has with him that are around him all the time. Though they were on the Death Star and they preserved him. That's what I've gathered. So that's what me thinking what? happened. Dude, bruh, I think they, I think the, they took. Bro, the dude literally fell through that fucking reactor core and got blown to smithereens. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how he survived that shit. Which is bullshit if you ask me. It's complete bullshit. And then the fact that Rey fucking knows how to force heal where she's had no training at all. How is that possible? So what I what I think what they're doing with like Rey and uh, Kylo is they're literally just making them be out the the most powerful of Jedi and Sith or whatever, yes, okay? Yes, yes, okay. And they, they, they just apparently... No, 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 I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. I'm saying that they just pretty much just gave them whatever. They can do whatever they want. I'm agreeing with you. It's stupid. Dude, you I'm know saying what it they, shouldn't be that way. You know what they could have done instead? You know what Ray and Kyle well, should have done? Just fucking force hold each other back and forth repeatedly <laughs> into like an endless loop. <laughs> They just keep force healing each other. <laughs> so, from what Ray said in the beginning, every time she force heals, it takes a little bit of her life, her force essence away. That's why he killed Ro Kylo when he healed her. I mean, honestly, dude, that ending just sounded like a, or seemed like a bad fanfic, like a, that a fan would write. Yeah. On the <laughs> I don't like the fact that literally the last thing you hear from Kylo Ren is, ow. Yes, exactly. Yes. That was the only line he had at the very end. He just said fucking ow. <sighs> but I will say, like, they, I think they should have killed Rey and kept Kylo. Kylo's a way, cool, way cooler character than fucking Rey. I, I think neither one of them should have died. Yeah, if... my friend said that they both, none of them should have died either. Honestly, why is Lando alive? Dude, Lando was so fucking creepy in the movie. Like, he just he gave was. That, that creepy old man smile to that poor, like, African girl, whatever she was. Yeah. He was like, I don't what? know, but yeah. we're gonna find out. <laughs> I don't know, but we're gonna find <laughs> out. That creepy old man smile. And, like, yeah. you know what's some more bullshit, too? Like, how the fuck were they able to build all those star destroyers but each of them had like the equivalent of, the equivalent of a death star on them like what the fuck how did they get all that technology and were able to build that in a hiding without like anybody knowing that that shit don't make well, sense nobody knew where that planet was like it, it's literally not on any maps it's non-existent yeah it's in the outer regions of the galaxy mm -hmm. but like still though like fucking if you 
take that back to present day like to in this world like fucking say if north korea were gonna make like a bunch of nuclears like we would find that shit out like if they're if they're manufacturing well yeah but we know where they are we're keeping eyes on eyes on them and bro i don't know it just seems really really odd to me man like yeah i think with like what with jj abrams what he had to deal with he did a fantastic yes. job. Yes, like compared to the what was the other the writer before or the director before JJ Abrams? Ryan uh, Ryan Johnson. Ryan Johnson. Like that. Yeah, like if JJ Abrams directed the previous two, I think it would be pretty decent. But yeah. fucking, I don't know, dude. The writers and the directors for the new Disney Star Wars movies are, are fucking trash. They are fucking horrible. Like Where we did I feel bad was for fantastic. JJ because he was he was like forced to bring back like Palpatine to try and salvage this shitty series in the direction yeah. it was going. <laughs> and I also didn't like too how they didn't show like any like they didn't show Anakin at all. They just gave his voice line where he was like saying, Bring balance as I have done years ago. You know uh, like Ahsoka was in there too? Oh she was? The voices, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Dude, you know what they should have done, man? They should have had, like, cameos of all the Jedi in the background when they, instead of the voices. They just, like, every time they said their quote, he pop, they would pop up one yes. by one. Yes, dude. Star Wars fans would have fucking creamed their pants in the theater. Dude, <laughs> Samuel, Samuel Jackson said he wants to reprise his role as Mace Windu one yeah. last time. Dude. He would have 100% have done it. Yes, yes, dude. Fans would have... Fucking... was there, too? Yes, they would have jizzed in their pants if they did that. <laughs> But fucking Disney is so stupid, man. And you can't have, like, a Skywalker movie without fucking Anakin Skywalker, dude. Like, come yeah. on. Come on, man. That was a huge honey dick moment from Disney. But there was a lot of holes for sure. Um, but, I mean, like, he was forced into leave, like, those kind of holes. And dude, I'm, you know I'm sure if he had control thing... of all three, it would have been amazing. Yeah, I agree. But, like, another thing, too, like, basically everything went fucking right for the heroes, too, which is, like, kind of retarded, if you ask me. Like, for example, why... when they were dude, going down that sand pit, too, to get that mm -hmm. dagger, like, they just somehow randomly happened to stumble upon it and, like, the, the location of it, too, you know? Like, out of the whole entire fucking planet. That one location where they fell down in that quicksand or whatever just happened to have mm -hmm. the location of the of the dagger. <laughs> After all, you are a Palpatine. The lightsaber fight was pretty good in this movie, at least. Yeah, the the war scenes too, like like that that yeah. is the epitome of what Star Wars should should be. Like the action scenes are really mm -hmm. good, um, but like the plot and everything else was just. Come on, man. It was just stupid. A lot of holes, man. And dude, I also like that they finally made a Leia a Jedi from yeah, Legends. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. I like that. They showed her mm -hmm. lightsaber too and everything. I really like that. I really like that because it was in Legends before. Yeah. It was it was officially made canon. Yeah, and they showed I like, like they showed like Luke, you know, when younger Luke training her and everything. Training. Yeah. That was so cool. I really liked that mm -hmm. moment. I really liked that. And dude, but like, when is Palpatine gonna realize that whenever he uses Force Lightning, it, it just it, it never goes well for him? <laughs> <laughs> like when he was doing it, at Mace Windu he got all disfigured. When he used it with to kill Luke, Darth Vader, or Anakin, threw him, <laughs> threw him to his death. That should have been his death. And not like now when he was using it on Rey. Like, <laughs> but you know another thing that's stupid, like fucking ray all she did was just deflect palpatine's lightning like how the fuck does that kill her that doesn't make sense to me i would have liked if palpatine actually had a lightsaber fight over yes that would have been so epic dude but no disney just doesn't fucking listen to fans <sighs> so now do you see what what i found was wrong? no yeah no i i agree with most of them. i still I, I still like i didn't have a bad time watching the movie well, I thought it was cringy, and I didn't really enjoy it that much. Well, there were there were some parts, yeah, but like I, I I'm really big on action. I like action scenes. Mm -hmm. All the parts with like Kylo and Ray were annoying, or maybe Ray. So you're not a Raylo supporter? <laughs> no, dude. Every time, every time she would leave the group, and then something bad would happen to the group because yes, she wanted yes. she wanted to do something with Kylo Ren. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, buddy. Yeah. 
<laughs> bro, she she literally just said, fuck you guys. I'm gonna go do my own shit. Screw, screw whatever she, happened. She, she nearly killed Chewie. Yes, yes, she almost got Chewie killed, exactly. Because she wanted to fucking go look at the fucking sand or some shit at the sky. <laughs> yeah, she, want, she sensed Kylo coming. My boo-boo is almost here. <laughs> it's just bullshit, dude. Like... It's just a lot of bullshit, too. And, like, at the very end, you know how they had, like, all these people from the galaxy, like, come together, right? To, like, fight yeah. them. Well, like, why the fuck didn't they just do that in the last movie? Like, why, <laughs> why didn't they just get everybody to group together in the, in the previous yeah. one? <laughs> Dude, I, I was watching, like, a, like little hidden secrets. Uh -huh. Apparently, there was a a droid command ship in that background and oh, a Venator. That's cool. Like, there was a bunch of cool, like... Uh, ships from Legends, the Old Republic, all that. Oh wow, dude! I didn't hear about that. I, yeah, 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 like go watch one of the reviews. Or, like hidden things you didn't see. That's cool, dude. It's speaking cool. of which, the fucking Knights of Ren were so fucking underpowered, dude. Uh, they used force push on him. They did. Ah. Uh, yeah. I didn't. I I, I noticed on Kylo. And that, on Kylo, yeah, and that's uh, maybe I didn't see him. He hit him with the staff. And why, why the fuck do they have, like, those stupid melee weapons? Why don't they I just know. give them lightsabers? Like, weren't they the fallen Jedi, too, with Kylo? Yeah, they were. Why the fuck didn't they give them lightsabers? It's stupid. Eat yeah. that. And the Emperor's, like, royal guard surrounding him. Yeah. You, can't, you can barely see them. I don't know what they look like. Yeah. <laughs> I really didn't get a good glimpse of all the Knights of Ren, either. Like, they were just too dark. Yeah, they just blended together. Yeah. But once when Kylo got their sword, they all looked at each other like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> I like And I wish we had some. <laughs> yeah. Like, but people, you know how Kylo, when he just like jumped on that chain thing and was like, ow. Like, I thought yeah. that was funny. And like, people were bringing up the same thing too. Like, why the fuck did he only have one line at the end where they were saying, well, oh, his acting was just superior and that's, he, he didn't even need to say anything. It's like, no, dude. He's redeemed Ben Solo. Like, he should have more lines than that. He did have more like of an action scene, like going against like the when, he, when he was like falling back when he was about to day about to die. You can finally say like I'm I'm at peace now or some just some anything I don't care. Yeah, I, I also I don't like how they made Ray OP dude. Like she was fucking so OP in this movie. Yeah, I, I guess it kind of makes sense. She's the spawn of Palpatine. Yeah, I guess she does have like kind of the light and the dark in her. Yeah, like, which yeah. makes sense why she has multiple abilities. Yeah, so she brings balance, I guess. I, I, she used force lightning too, but that was like the only fucking time as well. It would have been that's when, time. yeah, but that's when she like dipped into her dark side a little bit. Yeah. Mad. Yeah. And dude, uh, the little yellow lightsaber. Oh yeah, yeah, that was cool. I like that. Yeah. Her lightsaber is pretty cool. Dude, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh huh. When uh, Luke gave her, gave her uh, Leia's lightsaber, I thought she was gonna mold them together and make it double bladed. Yeah, that would have been really cool, but she fucking buried them so deep into the ground of Tatooine. Mm -hmm. I would have liked the better ending though, because it was just like her and BB-8 looking at the sunset. Like, come on, man. Like, I, I at the same time, I though, get, I'm glad I they sent it doing. off well. Yeah, I, I get what they're doing. Yeah. Kind of like um. Um, with, um, what was it? Um, A New Hope, kind of, because they didn't like Luke, yeah. and he's staring at the sun. I know. think the main reason I liked it so much uh -huh. is I was expecting so much worse, and I got, it's, it's a decent, like, end of it. it like, I, it could have been way worse. Yeah. It could have been way I worse. I guess I'm, I'm also, too, just glad, like, they're, like, the Skywalker trilogy is just over with. Like, I, I'm ready for them to start, like, something new, a new trilogy. Like, yeah. The, Disney, honestly, is, like, just, they fucking killed the Skywalker trilogy for me. I don't want to see anything else done with it. I don't want them to add on to it. Just leave it alone right now and start something new. Mm. Dude, oh, I want to, I want a, a movie with the Jedi Purge and everything, dude. Yeah, that'd be cool. Like because all we have is the legends and stuff. Yeah. Because Disney has deemed all those video games to be a uh, non-canon. Yeah, dude, all the it's just the, the, the Disney does not know how to make good movies, man. Like the TV shows are fucking amazing, oh, but the so... movies are just trash. <laughs> and it's so <laughs> sad too that a fucking baby Yoda is carrying the Star Wars franchise right now. That's depressing to me. 
<laughs> but I respect your rating. I do. Yeah. I mean, the way I'm thinking, it could have been way worse. Yeah. It wasn't the perfect ending, but it wasn't a terrible one. Yeah. Yep. I mean, uh, for starters, like we were saying, uh, Ghost Jedi, like when she stands up and faces Palpatine, if they would have all appeared behind her, that would have been sick. Yes, dude, I would have fucking creamed my pants, like, my sperm would have fucking flew all over the fucking movie theater screen in that theater. But no. <sighs> I mean, the it could have been worse. We could have had no voices, which I, I respect some of the voices. I respect <laughs> voices, at least. It could have been worse. <laughs> Dude, like, yeah. think about this. Uh-huh. All, all the previous Sith behind Palpatine and all the Jedi behind Rey as yeah. ghosts. Like, that dude, oh my that God. was so cool though. They had like some of the um like the Sith Lord statues in that Sith temple. Yeah. I didn't really catch all of them. But I think like I watched a video and they said like apparently Darth Revan was one of the statues. Mm -hmm. And like something with Darth Nihilus too, I think. Uh um, do you remember the Sith Troopers from the old Republic? What yes, they looked like? Yeah. I swear to God, in the first beginning scene I saw one of those helping with Palpatine mm -hmm. defending him. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, also, they like teased and made these Sith, red Sith troopers like such a big deal and everything. We barely right. got to see them. I know, I know. And and the Knights of Ren too. Even like I thought we'd get more of them, but they were just weak. They were so weak. Mm. Wonder what they treated them like. Like what? Boba Fett and uh, Empire Strike oh, Back. Oh yeah, That's, yeah. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, imagine if they all had lightsabers, dude. I, know, that'd be so I wonder cool. why they didn't do that, but because the, the fight would seem just like the last Jedi fight with them and the Sith guards. Yeah. But dude, it's but I would have rather had that than them just getting slaughtered. Right. Because did you see the battle droid? No, I didn't see that. When uh three PO got his memory wiped, uh -huh. uh, there were battle droids hung up behind them. Oh wow! <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't catch that. That was cool. And I want to see all the, the ships and that like, big group at the end. Yeah. I want to see how many legends are there. That scene was really badass. But that I mean, was. Like, I hate too how Lando was just like all smiling, cracking jokes and laughing. And like literally the fate of the galaxy is like in that one like fight scene right there too. Yeah. And he, just, he was so creepy, man. He just was, gave off such a creepy vibe everybody the problem was is he's trying to play his old self but as an old man yeah yeah it doesn't really work out man i feel bad no. for kylo though man he didn't get none of that rape no he didn't get my mom leaned over and said they're gonna have a baby and he's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> dies i i didn't expect him to die i really did not want mm -hmm. him to die too man kylo is such a dude. cool character Besides, like, being a What I wanted to see mm -hmm. was Kylo confronting Chewie. <laughs> yeah. Like, just walking up to him. I never got that moment. Oh. But, uh, that, like, scene with the Death Star? Mm -hmm. See, it, it feels just like the game, uh, The Fallen Order. Yeah. It's the real. same feel as, like, when you're going into the Venator. That's cool. Dude, I want more clone. More like Clone Wars content, dude. I love the clone. I like love the clone era. Yeah. Lazy it's way... knows. Yeah, you know a lot about the Clone Wars. Yeah. And all the different troop <laughs> names, too. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, I'm a Star Wars fan, but I don't know <laughs> that much about I did. It's just so interesting. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what Star Wars is to me, too. It's not like, you know the drama and like romance stuff like it just action war scenes and yeah in the galaxy 
All right, so guys, of course, there's going to be a lot more that is still yet to be discussed, but this is myself and New Kind of Lazy's initial reactions to the movie. Um, like you probably heard, I wasn't a huge fan. Lazy absolutely loved it, but of course, we do acknowledge that there were a lot of flaws in the movie, and I really want to know what you guys have to say about the movie down below in the comments if you guys are huge Star Wars fans. There's definitely a lot of holes left unfilled, and again, I just want to know what your initial thoughts are to the movie. So thanks for watching. Love you all so much. Till next time. See you guys later.